Hi, I'm Jake Shaw with Kern Laser Systems. Kern's KCAM software has many unique features available. These features assist in producing quality parts when cutting and engraving various types of materials on the laser system. One such feature is the lead-in control. The lead-in control helps reduce blowouts and vibration at the start of a cutting file. It allows for a smooth transition from the piercing of the material to the actual cutting speed. In today's video, we'll take a look at KCAM's lead-in control feature. When vector cutting any type or thickness of material, the lead-in control feature may be used. However, this feature is most commonly used when metal cutting. It's also important to note the lead-in control does not place an actual lead-in line to the cut file. A lead-in line must be created prior to processing the cut file to KCAM. To access the lead-in control feature, open the KCAM software, click on Settings, and select the Vector Settings tab. Here you will find a checkbox to either enable or disable the feature. The lead-in control has two options, distance and speed. The distance sets how far the lead-in control applies from the start of the cut. The speed is how fast the system will cut during the lead-in control distance. For instance, if 0.125 inches is set for distance and 0.1 inches per second is set for speed, the system will move at a speed of 0.1 inches per second from the start of the cut until it has traveled the 0.125 inches. The system will then cut at the speed entered on the vector colors tab. With these settings entered, I'll take and cut some parts so you can see how the feature is applied. The settings I frequently use for this feature when metal cutting is 0.05 for the distance and 0.15 for the speed. If you have any questions, please contact our friendly sales team or Kern's technical support.